The awful truth about the tragic shooting of reporter Alison Parker and cameraman Adam Ward is that they are both victims of the contrived race war that has gripped America. In a fax sent to ABC News, the gunman states that the shooting was a revenge attack for the Charleston massacre, his contribution to the race war. On his own Twitter account, he also said that he targeted Parker because of her, quote, racist comments towards him. And yet, what did D. Ray McKeeson, the de facto leader of Black Lives Matter, tweet before the identity of the gunman was even known? before the bodies were even cold. He blamed the shooting on white people. In the very minutes after news of this horrific tragedy broke, the leader of Black Lives Matter was exploiting the tragedy for political point scoring. Then he had the nerve to retweet other people who were decrying those using it for political point scoring. Same with Hillary Clinton and other leftists. Before the gunman was even caught, she was using the tragedy to go after the Second Amendment. This contrived race war, legitimised by the Obama administration, is emboldening extremists on both sides of the equation. Some in the leftist media blamed all white people in the aftermath of the Charleston massacre. So, am I going to blame all African Americans for what Bryce did? No. But when you create an environment, as the establishment media has done, when violence targeting innocent people is a justified response to claims of institutional racism, this is what happens. We saw it with Ishmael Brinsley, the guy who shot two NYPD cops in the head as part of a Black Lives Matter revenge attack. And now the next Dylan Roof will see Bryce Williams' violent rampage as a legitimate excuse for his form of revenge. The cycle never ends. When are we going to stop allowing this race war narrative divide us and tear at the fabric of society? When is the Black Lives Matter movement going to acknowledge black on black violent crime as part of the problem, as several African American voices have in recent days? When are we going to focus on how we can fix police brutality as part of a rational conversation that isn't poisoned by race baiting? Until that day comes, we're going to see many more Dylan Roofs and Bryce Williams. And the victims won't be black supremacists. The victims won't be white supremacists. The victims will be innocent people. The victims will be churchgoers in Charleston. The victims will be Adam Ward and Alison Parker. Come <laughs> on.